You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. I am about to catch you up on something, a huge blast from the past from the Day of Days promo that is about to become very important and you may not remember. It is a glimpse of the plot line when John Black first came to Salem as an amnesiac, all bandaged up. So very soon, we're going to get some sort of replay of it based on this promo. But do you remember this messy plot? We're going to take a look back so that we can get ready for what's ahead on Days. If you haven't already, please reach down, click Click subscribe so you don't miss any of our day's updates. So way back in 1986, this guy came to Salem. Drake Hogeston was playing the role. We later came to know him as John Black, but that wasn't the case from the get-go. He was all bandaged up from recent plastic surgery with no idea who he was other than, you know, the moniker of the pawn. If you're a longtime Days watcher, of course, you know that Stefano DeMera loves a good game of chess. All of his children play. That's why there's always a chess set in the mansion of the DeMera living room. And Stefano was part of this storyline, The Pawn, so it's appropriate that there was a chess name for the character initially. The mystery man with amnesia chose the name John Black at random off of a war memorial. So this pawn thing is a messy, convoluted story that I'm going to try to put in chronological order for you because there have been several retcons and rewrites, and then we would find out things later from the past. So I I took a, a big look at it, I jotted everything down, and then I rearranged the order order to make it chronological. So hopefully it'll be a little more clear than saying, well, we thought this and then we found out that. So back in the day, we were told that John's father was Joseph Bell, a soldier who wound up in China after running off from the military, learned martial arts and other deadly skills. He changed his name to Yo Ling, which means the Phantom. And he started a group of assassins and spies called the Alliance. And he had an ally named Ilya Petrov, who was a Soviet agent, okay, who is a very important part of this story. Part of the reason this is so messy is because Yo Ling thought John was his son. But in a 2023 re right that demolished it all in this huge retcon of day's history so jumping back in yo ling paid off the alamanes to give him john whom they at had adopted. We were told at the time that he was Yo Ling's biological son. So Petrov and Yo Ling set up a fake death for the adopted Alamein son, and they spirited John to the U.S. to be brainwashed and trained as a killer at Winterthorne Academy by these two villains. So Petrov later went to work for Stefano Demera as a bodyguard and like a hitman sort of thing, and he gave the pawn to his boss, and then Stefano brainwashed him to think he was Roman Brady. So to be clear, all this is so muddy and messy because they keep rewriting John's history and the pawn's history. They've done it several times. So Stefano used the pawn for years to do his dirty work, but he later lost him in a bet on a yacht race to Victor Kiriakis. And with Victor planning to take his acquired assassin back to Salem, Petrov dropped hints that he was really a brainwashed Roman Brady. Stefano had implanted many of Roman's memories into John's head to make him a convincing replacement Roman. And Stefano wanted John to think he was Roman to infiltrate the ISA to get info on a secret treasure and to wreak havoc on the Bradys as part of the ongoing Demera Brady feud. And that lasted for five years. Once in Salem, in Victor's custody, amnesiac John Black, as he had named himself, met his future wife, Dr. Marlena Evans, who tried hypnosis to help him get back his memories. During his treatment, they began feeling the sparks of attraction. And for a time, just a brief blip in time, they thought John might be Stefano Demera because Joseph Muscolo was off of the NBC soap when part of this was happening. And the theory seemed plausible because the pawn had a phoenix tattoo. And of course, Stefano was the phoenix. But it seems in hindsight, this was a mark of ownership, like a brand, a cattle brand they put on you. And this upset Marlena because at the time, her husband Roman was feared dead at Stefano's hands. And then things twisted again because these supposed pre-surgery photos of the pawn showed him with Roman Brady's face. This was before Josh Taylor was in the role, by the way. It was Wayne Northrup, of course, who was the original Roman. So John Black 
accepted Marlena's assurance that he was her husband, Roman, and they resumed life as a married couple. He did not remember their marriage, but he had some of Roman's memories, but he fell for her. And for a time, he worked as a security guard at the hospital to be near her. And later, John, assuming he was Roman, renewed his vows with Marlena and resumed Roman's job at the Salem Police Department as a cop. But happiness did not stay in the pond's life for long because Marlena was kidnapped and then presumed dead not long after their vow renewal. And then in 2008, Stefano turned him back into the pond again, completely brainwashed. John was presumed dead after being struck by a car, but the Phoenix had saved him, re-brainwashed John to be a super soldier that he could control. So John was ordered to commit a whole litany of crimes, including killing Colleen Brady. He didn't kill her, and then he found out that he was the son of Colleen and Santo Demera. Santo was Stefano's father. Of course, this was not ultimately true. This was just one of those many rewrites, and he eventually got his memories back. Another pawn plot that shocked viewers and Salemites was when Stefano had John brainwashed as the pawn. He also had Hope Brady brainwashed to be Princess Gina, and those two got married. That eventually came out, and they got a divorce, but that was kind of weird. And then the final retcon of John Black's history came in the fall of 2023, when Dick Van Dyke was cast as Timothy Robichaux, and they revealed that Joseph Bell, who also called himself Yo Ling, had actually stolen Timothy Robichaux's identity. And the true history of John Black is that he was born John Robichaux in Louisiana. He had been told his father, Timothy, died in the Korean War, but in 2023, we found out he survived, but was an amnesiac who bounced between VA hospitals for decades. And in fact, Timothy's identity was stolen by a man in his platoon named Joseph Bell, a.k.a. Yo Ling. Of course, that completely contradicts all the old storylines where Joseph Bell was certain John was his son. And that's why he bought him from the Alamanes who had adopted him from the Robichaux. And so now with this glimpse of of the pawn in the new Day of Days promo, it seems they might be doing yet another rewrite of history and John Black's time as a skilled assassin doing very bad deeds. We don't know exactly what they're doing, but the scene they showed in the Day of Days promo was John all bandaged up with his face bandaged up and behind him you can see Patch sitting there and they just mentioned that, you know, remember when I came and Patch took care of me. So something is coming. We don't know what, but now now you are ready for this pawn storyline, no matter what it is. And now you know all the convoluted history. Hey, click subscribe if you haven't already. And please come back soon for more on Days of Our Lives. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.